Right, what we have here is the facelifted and refreshed Mazda 2 that came out last October in 2010. Now the original Mazda 2 that was launched in 2007 was fated for having weight saving properties. The door speakers for example had smaller magnets, the wiring was less so. And um, that claim is still made by Mazda with this model. Although when you compare the 1.6 diesel that we have in this car against the equivalent Ford Fiesta, the curb weights are exactly the same at 1100 kilograms. Now the designer of the RX-8 was also responsible for refreshing this Mazda 2 and uh, it's a good job as you can see but you can't see the end of the bonnet to the sides of the wings and for a small car like this that will spend most of its life in the city that is a potential problem. From my experience Mazdas have got very similar interiors being quite sombre and dark broken up by slivers of silver and this Mazda 2 has uh, no exception. Uh, if we compare it against uh, a Ford Fiesta, Ford Fiesta the materials are more varied with different textures. It's really a step up from this Mazda. And uh, there are in fact some scuff marks that you can see here already on this brand new car. Now the build quality in this Mazda 2 is good, although not up to German levels yet. And uh, if we continue on to the back, wheel and there is a felt uh, lining here inside the arch that's actually linked together with staples which does uh, look cheap. Now there are some quality issues here. These might look like LEDs but in fact there is one simple ball behind it around the boot release button the metal does flex. We get an idea of how the manufacturing process has changed and become more simplified with fewer parts being used. The cord is simply stitched and at the end it's just tied where before you used to have a plastic end cap. Now I've mentioned the Ford Fiesta a few times and there is a reason behind that beneath the cover, 1.6 diesels are exactly the same and they're both Peugeot Citroen derived. And you can tell because it looks like someone's had a, an accident with a plate of spaghetti. Folding down the seats is a very simple process. But the lip here is very high which will surely damage this uh, bumper here. And also there is quite a large wheel arch intrusion, so wide objects may not fit. 